mentioned that I'd done my uh, advanced diploma in construction management. I've done my operations management uh, course um, here through the club, which has been really good. I also have been messaging a few of our sponsors at the club. Uh, we've got Colonial Construction, Abbey Mill Homes, um, people like that who can give me some work experience. So with Colonial, I've been out uh, quite a few Wednesdays now, just looking at developments they're doing, um, seeing the stages, each point and learning things along the way. Um, and the next step is that, is getting my um, CSCS card and hopefully being able to go on site and actually do some proper hands-on work. Um, and then with Abbey Mill again, hopefully in the new year um, coming up now, I'll be able to do exactly the same with them and, and work with them along the way. I think a lot of things sort of motivate me. There's a lot of boys who do some degrees, a lot of young lads who are doing it, and it's good to see, but the thing that motivates me is, obviously, you look at these stories about players who have been at the top level um, and just struggled with retirement. Um, I don't want to be a player who struggles. I want to be a player who can make a smooth transition into it, um, enjoy life after rugby. Like, I love playing rugby now, but I also want to enjoy that next step. I don't want it to be a, a downtime for me, and I feel like if I can make that as, as smooth as possible, um, that's the way forward really, I can, I can enjoy it, I can live my life and, um, and yeah, enjoy that next step. Yeah, it is hard sometimes, obviously time management is massive, um, so obviously Wednesdays are sort of our rest days, so last thing you sort of want to be doing sometimes is getting up at eight and finishing at five, but I know that time's invaluable, like we, we need to take the opportunity to go and do something else, like rugby doesn't last forever. Like, I've been, been here eight years now and God, it feels like yesterday, I signed my first contract, so I know in the next five to eight years that'll be my, my, my rugby life sort of done with um, and it's time to take that next step, so as long as I'm sort of ready for it, I know what's what's next and hopefully I can make a smooth transition without, without any hiccups. Um, I think the biggest thing is, is obviously talk with your RPA rep, uh, your development uh, head of resources here, um, and also try and figure out what you don't like. Um, I found that along the way, like there's a lot of things you'll try and you won't like, but it's about not stopping there and just going, oh, I don't like that, I don't want to do that, I'm just going to go back to doing this, that and the other. But um, it took me a while till I found what I wanted to go into and, and now I'm, in it, I'm enjoying it and I can sort of set the foundations to get a good pathway into the next, the next step. I think the degree is probably the next step for me. Um, in the construction world, um, I've been speaking to quite a few companies about what I sort of need to, to go into construction management and things, and um, they sort of seem to have a mixed, mixed review. Some are saying some qualifications, although a lot mainly focus on your work experience. So obviously, it's getting that degree under my belt as well as getting as many hours as, as, uh, on, on the work experience side as I can as possible. Um, then hopefully that experience can sort of push me forward into, into a decent job role after rugby. I mentioned Nikki Brown, she's been really good with me. Um, she sort of helped me along the way. Um, she's given me a lot of support on and off the pitch, um, which is good. So having people like her in the RPA push me in the right direction and give me that help in hand is, is massive. Whenever I need anything, um, they're only either a text message or email away, which, which is really good. And obviously that's what I think young lads should be doing nowadays, should be using that time. Because I remember when I was 18, 19, 20, I probably wasted two, three years playing PlayStation. And, Living, living this cool life, which everyone, everyone thinks we do. But it's, it's good to take the opportunity in the time we've got, especially in the evenings. Like I look at some of the lads now, there's probably three or four of them um, who do a course at Moulton College. Um, that's what the club sorted out, the RPA have sorted out. So um, it's good that boys are taking that time um, and they're enjoying it. And it's only for a year or two, and then you've got qualifications under your belt. Yeah, so like, like I've mentioned before, the RPA reps, the people at Northampton Saints have been a massive help in hand um, and they're continuing with their support along the way and I just hope other lads, well I know other lads here are doing it, um, I hope other lads everywhere else are.